Sam O'Reilly for Fight Talk. Delighted to be joined this evening by Dave the White Rhino Allen. How are you, Dave? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, man. Very good. Very good because the the rematch you've been you've been wanting and talking about for a, a number of weeks and months now is finally confirmed. Um, Lemroy Thomas for the Commonwealth title and the Anthony Joshua Pulev bill. Yeah, it's here. You know, um, we kind of thought, you know, we kind kind of hope more than thought, really. You know. Um, thought process of getting out getting a win against Tom Dallas and you know, we tried to get out a few times really after the after the Lemonade Thomas defeat you know um, get some wins you know put myself in the shop window for um, for maybe a rematch to Lenroy you know maybe put myself in there for a shout for boxing for the British you know I've had a few wins but Eddie's, Eddie's pulled it off you know he, he told me that a few weeks ago this was a fight he wanted to make um well, more than a few weeks ago, she was, you know, it was muted first for the for the Manchester bill. Um, but then even better, you know, it's, it's dropped on the Cardiff bill, so it, it really couldn't have gone any better, you know. Um, Eddie and Matchroom are, you know, what can I say really, this is my fourth pay-per-view show in 10 months. Like, I must be the luckiest fighter in Britain, you know. Um, you know, I stay luck, you know, it's, it's due to... You know, it's due to the people, fans, what you want to call them. You know, what wanting to see me on there, wanting to see me do well, and and you know, and and the first bit you fought against Luis Ortiz, which I wouldn't call lucky. So so yeah, you know, things things have just dropped right, and I've got the fight I wanted on the biggest show. You know, what? yeah, I'm, you know, you have to, I have to, I have to pinch myself sometimes and just think, you know, is it is it real? It, it's mad. Is it definitely the right time? I know it's a massive show. And it's a massive opportunity. And obviously, you wanted the rematch regardless. But at one stage, you know, you was like, maybe go get a few wins. Uh, you know, yeah. since the last fight, you've had Tom Dallas. You, you got a good knockout on him. Um, do you feel like the timing is good? It doesn't really matter whether it had been now or, you know, maybe a few months down the line. Is this the right time for it? Yeah, because the talent, I've always had the talent. has always been there. I've sparred the best fighters in the world. Um, it's always been there, you know, and... In the past five weeks, I've trained as good as I ever had. The last four weeks, I've I've, I've 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 eaten so specifically, so correct. I've adhered to everything that I I have had to eat, eating at the right times, I've eaten the right food, everything. And my performances on the track, my performances in the gym, my performance in sparring last night, the first sparring. I had. Lenroy Thomas, I underestimated him the first time. Lenroy Thomas is a good fighter. I turned up out of shape thinking I was going to bowl him over and he was going to quit and whatever else. And, you know, I underestimated him and I, and I got beat because of that. But when when I am in... when If I do another seven weeks, the, like the four or five weeks that I've just gone, Lenroy Thomas will not beat me and there'll be very few other weeks in the world that will beat me. And that is confidence talking. That's not bravado, that's nothing else. That's nothing but confidence, my own ability. And it's just a case of always being fit that... It, and it's clicked now, and, and this is my last chance. If I if I don't beat Lenroy Thomas, you know, I said retire. I said win the rematch or retire. It's not a case of win the rematch or retire from boxing. Never box again. It's a case if I lose Lenroy Thomas and I don't turn up in shape, I'll never get taken serious ever again. Now, yeah. if I turn up in shape and lose Lenroy Thomas, it's a case of you've got to go away for two or three years, build up on small low shows, sell tickets when people aren't going to be interested, and all the rest of it. And, and then come back in two or three years time after being out in the wilderness and having, and having to do it the hard way or I can get in shape being Lenroy Thomas and, and and then be where I feel like I, where my talent belongs but I've played at the game for so long I've, played, I've been a professional nearly five years and I've been playing at it I've not trained since for, for over six years and, and, and that's not me saying oh that's not an excuse that's my own that's my own silly fault I should be so much further on now should I should be, I should have done some good things. I should have won titles. I should have beat Lenroy Thomas last time. All I had to do was, all I had to do was gain the correct physical condition. I would have beat him last time. So it's very disappointing. My dad sat me down. My dad's not been well, and he sat me down. And he just said, "Son, you know who knows how long we're going, who knows how long we're going to be here for? You know you need to knuckle down. You need to train hard. You need to eat correctly, and you need to and you need to make good on your talent because if not, you're going to be like me, and you're going to live to regret for the rest of your life. So." I don't know, you know, is it four weeks of eating correctly, five weeks of training correctly, I've got to do it for another seven, you know, and, and, and then we'll see what it's all about, but as it is my last chance, I've not really got any other option.
Yeah, you know, you know, you say you you um you may have taken him for granted and underestimated him. Does your game plan change for this fight then, or is it, you know, what you did first time, but just more belief in yourself, or or do you sort of adjust to his skills a little bit more? Well, I watched the first fight back a few times. It was a very painful watch. It wasn't a good fight. You know, the fight was hard. It was a physical fight. It was, it was you know, it was, it was hard work. You know, um, he's a strong man. He's, he's a he's a he's a tough grown man. You know, he's thirty two years old. He came he came in very fit, hungry to win. Um, but the fight itself, I was so bad. I've never I've, I watched it back, and it was a difficult watch. I've only watched it a couple of times because it was, it was that bad. It was it was actually painful for me to sit and watch and think that's me fighting. So it's a case, I, my, my style isn't really going to change, you know. Um, I come forward, I, I use my physical strength and I, and, I, and I do and I do whatever I do, you know. I try, and, I try and box a little bit, I try and get on the inside. It's just a case of get fit, go in the ring and win the fight, you know, by any means necessary. If Lemroy changes his plans and comes forward, I've got to box on the back foot and I do that. If I'm fit, I truly believe I can do I can do anything in the ring, you know. And people will watch this and say, "Well, we've seen you fight, mate. You, you're not that good." And I'd say, "Yeah, absolutely. You haven't seen me fit. You haven't seen me correctly prepared. And you know, I understand your reservations. But come October 28th, you'll you'll see. And I'm I'm so confident. You know, I'm getting up at 7 a.m. on the track, hitting the track. 2 a.m. on 2 p.m. I'm back in the gym training, sparring in the evening, doing something else in the evening. It, and I sparred last night, and and and, and I've just got a laugh. And I, I hope Lenroy comes in. in he 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 can't be any better than the first fight. That was the best Lenroy Thomas. He came. That was his night. October twenty eighth. You know, if he's coming expecting who we got last time, he's going to be in for the shock of his life. Do you fight this fight with less emotion? You know, last one was at, um it was at Bramall Lane. You know, it was quite well known about your dad fighting there and stuff. Do you think there's less emotion? Attached to this one? Yeah, I think last time I tried too hard. When I went there and I tried too hard. But it's just a case of, you know, not for the first time. I came in prepared. Came in... I, I trained hard for the fight, you know. I, when I'm in the gym, I always train hard. You know, it was, it was, I didn't do... I didn't put the correct miles in. I didn't put the... I didn't eat the right food. I weighed, I came in way too heavy. Uh, I'm very lucky to be having a, to be having this chance, you know. Very, very lucky. So, um I've got, to, I've got to really. I know. I know. This is my last chance. You know, for a long time. If I don't beat Lenroy Thomas, it's it's really difficult to see where I go. You know, um, and that's a big driving factor behind behind preparing as I am because I'm 25 years old. I've only had time to fight 16 pro fights, and it's a case of winning this fight or 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 what. You know, so. If I don't win this fight, it, like it's over already. I'm 25 years old and I've only been in boxing six years. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't see me, um, I don't see me losing this fight because I can't, I can't afford to lose this fight. Yeah, and like you say, 25. I mean, the motivation at the minute you're looking in superb shape. Um, so it's the motivation, whatever helps you. And makes you believe in it. I, for no, you know, no point of view would ever imagine you'd be done at this stage, whether you win or lost. But, you know, if it helps you, then it's all, all the better, Dave. Because mentally, it's it's going to be a big, you know, a big test for you mentally as well. Because you've been in there with him and you suffered defeat, and like you say, you blame yourself for it. So, mentally, I think it's it's going to be a tough fight as well. Yeah, you know, it's I come into the fight. Uh, all expectations kind of off me now. Only the people very close to me. You know, certain people who see me in the gym sparring know they believe that. Everyone else kind of thinks I'm a nice fella, but, you know, am I really any good? So, in one sense, the pressure's off. You know, that the expectancy is, you know, pretty low now, I think. Um, but the pressure's on, because like I say, I'm putting the pressure on myself. I, I see it like if I don't win this fight, my career kind of, like you say, it's not over, but, but where do I go, you know? Do I go back and do four and six rounds and on ticket deals on small old shows it's very difficult when you fight in front of 30,000 people you know if my next fight in an 8,000 seat arena so then, to then go and spend 18 months 2 years picking up wins trying to sell tickets when people are used to coming to watch you in such places and they want to go, then they're going to come and watch you in a leisure centre um, you know in, a, in, a, in wherever 
it's, it's going to be very difficult to do that. You know, and I'm not stupid. I, I, I know, I know what the deal is. I, I, if I lose, if I lose the next fight, you know, I'm, I'm a really. Do I really want to? Do I really want to go through all that? And the answer is no. I'd rather go through some serious pain in training for the next seven weeks, put myself out eating all this stuff, which, which is only what real professional athletes do anyway. And win the fight because there's no way if I if I do another seven week like the last five, there's no way Lenroy Thomas beats me. Lenroy Thomas is a good fight. That's all he is. I've got all the respect in the world for him. I like the man, but he's a good fight. You know better than that. And me, hundred percent. And him, hundred percent. There's only one winner. So it's the case of really all I've got to do is put the work in the gym, turn up on the night, do what I do, and I win the fight. So that fills me with the confidence and. And, and the want to get up every morning and do it because I, I know that's what I've got. All I've got to do is do everything that and that everything correctly, and that's it. And that's a nice feeling to be in. Lenroy Thomas has got to put all the work in, be hundred percent ready, and then hope that I'm not hundred percent ready. And that's that really is as simple as that. It's, it's good to hear you talk with such positivity, mate. Obviously, you were buzzing. Well, not so much buzzing after when, when we did your post fight in um, in Brentwood. You know, you knew it was the fight you were working towards, and we didn't know the time scale. Now it's here. I can hear how positive you are and you know you're working and grafting it's good to see Dave so I wish you the best mate yeah you know this, this is um, like you said I'm not there's no emotion in me for this fight there's no there's no um, yeah there's no I'm not I'm not thinking I need to win this fight for such and such reason I need to win this fight so I can continue <coughs> on my quest to becoming the British heavyweight champion the Commonwealth heavyweight champion, the European heavyweight champion, moving up in levels, keep doing what I'm doing, keep doing my my dream job, day in day out, and that and that's what this fight's about. This fight, if I don't win this fight, then you know it, it's taking my livelihood away, it's taking my job away, you know, and so that's that's how important that's how important this fight is. It, it, it really is coming down to. I feel like he's, 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 if I lose this fight, you know, it's like. Taking my job away, it's taking it's taking my life away effectively because boxing is my life. So, and it, and it's took getting to this point of winning the next fight or or you kind of finish to, to to for that to kind of click in my mind when I've wasted all that time. But you know, the last five years of my life, have been a, not not a waste because I've travelled the world, I've seen things, I've met my heroes and stuff. It's not been a waste, but <coughs> you know, it's, it's it's effectively it's led me to the point that I'm at now. And I'm going to beat Lenroy Thomas, and you know, if, if, you, if you'd have told me after Bromwell Lane that, that uh, an hour after leaving the ring you're going to box Lenroy in October, I'd have said, yeah, and I'm going to beat him. And, and <coughs> it really is as simple as that. I've, I've, it's real. I, how I feel right now is real. I, I need, I need to beat him, and, and I'm going to. And, and that is, that really is as simple as that. Definitely. Well, Dave, I wish you the very best, mate. Keep training hard. I'm still not convinced you'll ever make cruiserweight like a lot of people seem to think on Twitter. Um, but they need to stop that shit. They need to stop that shit. <laughs> Pleasure talking to you, Dave. As always, mate. Nice one. You Thank take you. care, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye.